Hello, this is Brian. I'd like to talk to you today about a project that I'm starting on, which is to diagnose and repair one of my favorite game systems, the 3DO. I'm going to be talking about the FZ1 model uh, that I purchased at the launch of the system when I worked at Babbage's Computer Software in Austin, Texas, selling the 3DO. And uh, you may know Babbage's by their current incarnation, GameStop. So the problem that I'm having with the 3DO is that uh, the games aren't reading correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and power on our system here. And if we look at the monitor, we saw the logo come on ever so briefly. Let me go ahead and push the tray eject button. And we see that the tray ejects, the 3DO logo uh, comes up, and that's gonna be followed by the Panasonic logo here in a second. Yep, yeah. and it will be telling me to insert a disc. So we'll go ahead and take a disc. I'm gonna try putting in Gex by Crystal Dynamics, one of the uh, premier software programming teams that worked uh, on the 3DO system. They did the pack-in game, a driving game with battle elements called Crash and Burn, uh, which is pretty cool. I also liked uh, another one of their games, um, the uh, basketball game Slam and Jam, which was a very cool game to check out if you've got a 3DO system. Uh, we put the CD in there and we saw the green light come on ever so briefly. But what we would expect to see at this point is the green light kind of flickering as it reads the CD-ROM. So uh, there must be a problem with the CD uh, coming out on its rails over the CD to actually read the game programming. And from what I've read online, there can be um, probably like three types of problems this might represent. And one might be a faulty laser element. and um, those are really hard to find replacements for. Uh, the second problem might be that the rails that the lens comes out on might need to be greased. Um, and the third element uh, that might have gone wrong is there's a spindle with a gear on it that powers the CD lens to come out and actually move over the right portions of the game to be able to read the game data. and. I talked to a gentleman online who does repairs on 3DOs. He thinks that that's the most common thing that he runs into when he's repairing these systems. And so I had some decisions to make, you know, that none of them were very easy. But the solution that I found was to go ahead and replace the CD-ROM drive completely with a, a USB stick that will hold your uh, game ROMs and that will have the benefit of having all the games available at any time and because you've got the USB holding the game data instead of reading the CDs which can have kind of a slow speed that's one of the complaints some people have had about the 3DO system um, the speed should be very fast for reading and I'm interested in seeing how that goes so uh, what I did was I went ahead and ordered the part online, and if you just Google 3DO USB, you'll find the website 3DO-renovation.ru. There's a gentleman who makes these parts on there. This is the envelope that I got. It cost about $200 and took about three weeks for delivery, and inside the envelope with some instructions, is a uh, circuit board that I'll be installing in my next video. And what we see on this very small circuit board is that there's a USB slot on one end. That's where the um, USB stick with the games will go. And on the other side in these white slots are the ribbon connectors that will be the data interface between this um, and the 3DO system itself. So I'll be installing that in the next video and hopefully getting back to fully operational 3DO. Luckily I had a spare 3DO on hand so 
I've gotten kind of lazy about getting this project going, but uh, I hope to bring that to you soon. Thank you.